Welcome to a day in the life of a beekeeping entrepreneur, June. Hello, I'm Griff Rees, welcome to Winning with Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, how we do reviews as well. Now the kids, they've just gone to school and I'll have come back from the school run and we need to get ready for a busy day. Lots of things planned today. Got to go up to Cardigan, put supers on one site, which I am very worried about. I'm very cautious that they haven't got enough space. And uh, that's basically it was keeping me up uh, in the night at the minute, thinking I've got all these bees everywhere and some of them have not got enough supers on for my liking. Oh. So we're gonna fix that today. But I am out of supers, so we are building them up weekly now getting oh, a few extra hundred out now over the next two or three weeks if i can and uh, that should put us in a, a pretty good position already i'm in a good position we've got more supers than we've, we've got ever had before so the honey crop is going to be potentially the, the best it's ever been um buying another business over more supers going out myself so that is going in the right direction and this is what's going on here at the minute kenneth is here that's Kenneth. Don't think you've met Kenneth before. Kenneth is uh, head of construction at Green and Griffith. <laughs> he's he's pretty much built everything here from stuff in the house to the the shop, the office. Uh, so Kenneth is the main builder. Mel, he's the main digger driver, fencing contractor. Mel is going to be with us on the concrete as well. You've you've all seen Mel. He's been on a few channels. So we just shut in the wall. Kenneth's made all his shuttering himself. We put the steel reinforcement in right round and Mel is gonna come Friday with his pan mixer and three of us are gonna get this concrete in now next week and then Heaven, the guy who's doing the shed he's just down the road he's the guy who did the frame and everything he is hopefully gonna come straight away and this shed will be pretty much done we just gotta sort the doors out but that is gonna be although it looks absolutely tiny and one of the local farmers came here and said, well, are you building a matchbox shed? To say it's so small. And it is small, but you know, that's what we can afford to build at the minute, but it's gonna make a huge, huge difference for us storing capacity wise, especially with all these new supers that's gonna come back with me very, very soon. The season is coming to an end pretty fast. And that's gonna sort this mess out. Because there's just so much stuff being bought, we got to store it. And Arad's there, are you looking forward to the new shed to go up on Arad? Yeah. And the idea is then we're going to make this like a proper shop then. Maybe have a basket there and you can have a walk around and, and pick the bits that you want. So this side of the business has grown as well. It just seems everything is growing at the minute and it, it is stressful but very, very exciting at the same time. Right, load up the truck. I've only got, I think, 19 supers to bring up with me, which doesn't justify the spin, really. But, you know, if those boxes get filled, then that's what it's all about. And if they don't get these supers, then I guarantee you swarming is going to go up. So, load up the truck. Let's go. That's a fair old load. I'm carrying all daily, multiple suits in the back, frames, my happy solace, gauntlets, gloves, multiple hive tools, never use the same hive tool on different sites, always a new one, got my new strimmer hedge cutter in there, just need to grab the battery, so I'm constantly maintaining sites, keeping the glass down, doing splits, queen introduction, putting supers on, Taking splits out into full size hive, it's just absolutely constant and this truck is full to the brim all the time. But that's the season of beekeeping. We just gotta really push now to make sure we catch as much of that honey flow as we can. Basically the next two weeks determines how much honey we get. And if I can get 
a few hundred extra more supers done over the next couple of weeks for them to be on the hive and for them to be filled up then that would be an absolutely amazing result I don't know how I'm going to extract all that honey but we're going to get it in the shed and then we'll sort that problem out but the first thing we need to do just concentrate flat out on getting as many boxes on the hive as possible to catch that honey and all at the same time do loads of nukes this life ain't for everybody but someone's got to do it right so on the first sight of the day smoker is lit now most of the supers are gonna go here and these new boxes are gonna go here so it may be a case of all my kit is gonna go here so a little bit about the site it's fair few hives here now not a huge amount of honey supers here because the hives that were originally here i double brooded and gave them a super uh because the plan is we're going to do walkaway splits later on so these sites were sacrificed uh, to make more bees instead of trying to go for the spring crop and then the single broods they were nukes that I've already made up and they've been transferred into full size hives and from memory is it three one two three nukes that need to go into a full size hive here today so basically we're going to go around everything check how much space they've got add supers if things are not looking right go down have a look to see now i can see bees flying from everywhere and you know this hive is going to be full look at them hanging on out there so something like that is going to get two supers and then at the end of the session we're gonna cut the vegetation around the hives maybe cut a little bit of the hedge back keep this site workable and not block the bees from flying and getting a good day's work in so that's what i'm doing gonna start on this end i'm just gonna work my way through let's go and look at that first hive double brooded them up and they've still filled the super pretty happy with that but that should have had two supers on so this super's coming back with me today and we're going to drop two empties on it so i've got my blower with me but before i blow any supers i just give it a good smoke on the top that does get away get rid of a lot of the bees before getting the smoker out before getting the blower out i mean now this being a double brood I don't have to inspect all of the box just gonna flip it up no queen cells at all because if they were gonna swarm we'd see queen cells underneath these frames on the top box there's nothing there the top box is full of bees the bottom box is full of bees I mean really if I had four spare supers i dropped four on these today so we're going to give them two and then work out how much supers we got left but you know we got full box of honey and i suspect it's going to be the case for a lot of these i can see some of them with two supers on so they were obviously much more advanced last time i was here so i right, supers on and blow these bees out now well, these are cut comb and i've got cc on three of the frames to indicate cut comb now i have started painting my cut comb boxes a different color i've uh talked about that in a different video but just so i don't miss these sometimes they will these will wear off and you end up extracting your cut comb which you don't want to do but a lot of cut comb is going on the hives this year
Hardly any beers. Here's some of the nukes I made or promoted last time I was here. And they filled a box up full of the brim with bees. Another one needing two supers. I tell you. The flow is literally going to start any day because the bramble is just coming into flower. And then we got about, we got a crazy two weeks, three weeks maybe, and then that's it, that's basically it for the season. So if I can get around all these hives after today and get one or two more boxes on everything, that would make an unbelievable difference. I mean, look how these bees are coming on. They've had the best spring to build up on. Haven't fed them, um, they've, just, they've just built on spring honey flow, amazing. All these nukes, gonna get a super. Most years in Wales, if you make up nukes early in the year, chances are you don't get that much honey off them. But this year, I think they're easily gonna fill that box up. And they may even need two. Bees clustering. Or bearding on the outside, how full is this? It's gonna be. Oof. Fall to the brim. Bit more spring honey to come back with me. Now this is the annoying bit I keep seeing everywhere. They're not capping it. No, I'm not gonna take that back with me. And it's the same here as well. Full of honey, but not capped. Well, nothing I can do really, just give it two more supers. I hope that hive stand holds out. It's just a roofing button that is. Winter job change some of these weaker stands. But I didn't build that stand. This is one of the sites I've taken over. Griffiths don't build them like that. Six by twos or pallets. But trust me, four by two isn't strong enough. It's got to be at least a six by two if you're building stands that are timber. Alright, let's see if this nuke worked. Yes. Lovely job. Don't you love going back, seeing your splits, seeing a new queen mate dead, and a full box of bees. Makes me a very happy man. There's the new queen. Naturally bred up here. They are only six frames of bees, but every frame had cap root on there. So this is going to get a super now. Now, if I was able to do weekly inspections around here, then that wouldn't get a super. But I'm treating every site as a site. So I'm here today. I won't have to come back here for two weeks. So the idea is that doesn't need a super today or this week. Next week, I guarantee you it will. So it's got to have it now. And that's how I'm managing these sites. I just look at them like blocks. I don't look at it as individual hives needing something, I just look at it right. Has that site been supered? Has that site been inspected? 
and that's how I'm doing it. So all this site, if something needs a super today, this is getting it. I can tick this site off for two weeks. And if another site needs more supers, then I'll just build some more for that. Otherwise, you're ch running around and you don't know where you've been, where you need to go. And then you end up thinking, you need to go everywhere at the same time when block catheterizing everything up. I'm here today, forget about it for two weeks. Concentrate on the other sites the rest of the time. And I'm finding that works out much, much better for me. Working my way around here. Yeah. Another full super, this one's capped, coming with me. He is super strong. These guys will take advantage of this weather, no doubt. Two supers on this one. Alright, that's everything checked and sorted here. Yeah. But this is literally not even putting the fire out. Everything's right for a week. But this site has got, well, about 30 odd supers on there now empty. But it needs another 30 next week. Ideally, another 60 next week. Because just putting another one super on with the weather going to be like this. It's just not even anywhere near the type of space these bees need. These bees need two to three empty supers on them, because I guarantee you, with the weather they're forecasting, they're going to fill them. Oh, i got to get a cold drink. I'm going to keep a cool box with me. Put the ice blocks in there. Whole can of cork while I catch my breath and gather my thoughts. These bees up here are the bees I've taken over and I suppose because I've been doing splits expanding the numbers up here and I, I suppose I wasn't expecting such a good year again I've been caught out not having enough supers up here. Now my bees at home, I'm quite comfortable with how much space they've got. So my own hives, which I've been running for a few years, their numbers are, are still expanding, but I've probably got at least four supers on everything back at, you know, my command and uh, my, I suppose my honey farm then, and the honey farm that I've taken up here, I haven't got enough. Now I have got, must be about 40 empty supers there I just need assembling and frames building. Now that's the biggest problem I've got is how long it takes to build frames. Now I can knock a fair few boxes out in a day. Um, say you aim for, you know, 20 supers, uh, you know, 20 frames worth built every day while doing other things at the same time. So I should be able to knock out enough supers up here. It's just going to be a, a long, long few weeks knocking them up and getting them up here. Now some other sites up here, ones that I've previously filmed, they've got two or three, and some of them have got four supers on already. So it's not all the sites are desperate for space. It's just these types of sites, which I've been making splits, bringing called nukes down here, putting them in the full boxes. Now they need more space. So, I mean, this is like a catch 22 really. I'm looking at, you know, beating, uh, my best year ever for honey by far because of these extra bees that I've bought in so you know my, my honey crop is going to be you know colossal compared to what it, what it used to be this year with the, with the spring we've just had but I just feel like I'm failing that you know the bees are strong the weather is perfect I just haven't got the boxes to put on them I drove up here this morning and the back of the pickup was full, full to the brim. So I had to bring empty colonies up, uh, empty hives to put the nukes into and supers to put on. So unless I bought a trailer up here, I could not physically have bought any more. But, but really, the truth speaking, you know, that's what this site needs and this area needs. I need to come up here with a full pickup and a trailer load of empty supers again. 
and just go around everything, just supering them up. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna leave a lot of money on the table. And what I mean by that is, if the honey's coming in and you haven't got empty boxes on them, that's honey that could have come in, but it hasn't because you weren't prepared enough. And that's how I feel up here now. If it was a, just a normal year, I would have had enough boxes up here, but the, the year's turning out to be an, an unbelievably good year. And I feel like I'm just lagging behind it. But I'm gonna try my best. Try my best to build these boxes now over the next few days and come up here with more boxes. And who knows, rain might come, we might have a terrible summer. But with this weather holding on, I don't think there's enough supers in the country for the amount of bees that's out there foraging. Just not enough hives. So I'm gonna, gonna have to start extracting to get em supers empty because it's faster extracting honey than it is to be building them. But yeah, I've got a plan and we just need to stick to it. So the rest of my plan today, I'm gonna call to see uh, the bee farm that I bought everything off. I'm gonna fill the back of the pickup so I'm not going home half empty. I've got, uh, how much supers did I put in? Seven, eight supers that I've taken off these bees today. And that's roughly a, a super per colony if you're not counting the nukes that I've made. So, you know, but there's still a lot of honey there, like we saw, still not capped. And I'm thinking every week I say, oh, well, these will be capped by next time. They'll be capped by next time and they're not. So, you know, not sure what's going on there, that the, the bees are still not capping it. But uh, there you go. So that's my plan. I'm gonna go pick some stuff up off the bee farmer uh, that, that, uh, that, that I've taken these bees over. My parents are up here in the caravan, so I'll probably go and have food with them. It's half past one now, so I'll have a late lunch with them. Head home, unload this honey into the warm room, and then start building frames. But before that, I gotta hedge cut uh, the glass and tidy this site up. Now this is a really cool hedge cutter, battery powered, same battery as my blower. So we got the hedge cutter attachment on it now, but it's multi-head. So if I'm not cutting hedges, then I can put this strimmer head on, and then it's a strimmer. Pretty cool and very, very handy. Base. I can see a delivery has arrived. Calf milk replacer. We are picking up some calves on Monday. I'm not calves for a while. Now, change of plan, I didn't go to my parents' caravan. I went down to take another load off the bee farmer that I, well, the business that I bought. Talking to the Lord, I am slowly emptying his sheds out and it's taken a while, so I've lost, I don't know, a good few hours there taking another load because there's a fair bit of handball in that side. But we're back on the yard. Quick cup of tea, sort the dogs out. I think Kenneth has finished, but yeah, by the looks of it. Shut drain is up. So we're just waiting for Mel to come with his tools now, Friday, or week Friday, we get that concrete in. But what I have bought as well, as part of the deal, is that, and that is, ignore the salt and pepper shakers, that's a gift. That is an airless sprayer. A lot more nukes to go out this year, Need to paint them up. A lot more hives that I want to um, re-spruce up and not spend all afternoon with a brush. So I'm going to 
have a go with that LS sprayer. Right, cup of tea, empty the truck and start building frames. And um, we've got the Reese brothers here, can you boys? Have you been in school today? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Hello. Here's number three. Hello. 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 Hey, do you have a Do you have No. Oh, every time I go back to the farm, there's loads of work to do. So we've been building here now. I gotta move this pile of cement, but unfortunately, it hasn't come on the pallet like this. So the pallet truck won't work, so I gotta handball that to there, then move it, hitch the trailer up, get that out the way. So I've got this access back here again. And just everything is all hands on deck. Getting kit ready, more new boxes that need prepping, sorting out new frames, putting in there. There again, more supers, more nukes again. That's about to go out. And uh, once I move all that, come into here. And we're going to assemble these. I swank these are pretty easy to assemble. I'll film a bit of how I do it. I glue them together. Use this type 1 glue. And this is where I spent hours a year. Probably weeks over a whole year. Just sat here. Put my phone up there. I watch beekeeping videos on YouTube while I'm doing this kind of work or listen to podcasts and it's just pump, 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 pump. Drop the supers there, frames go in and then from there out on a pallet. Right, I'm going to move all that up out the way and then start building frames. So building these 20 supers are easy. Now if you didn't know, we actually one of the main agents in the UK that supply and sell swanky stuff, including these hives. So you've got one piece without the place for the frame to sit, and one piece there, you can see the rebate there. And they only build one way, so they just slot in, you squeeze in. Now I don't squeeze them all the way in yet, because I am going to put some glue in there. I literally just a drop. that off drop 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 and it runs down in there and you just give that a squeeze and you just work right down the box and it's basically a tiniest of drops, give that a squeeze, and that's basically how we do it. And then the last part of the job, we've got these runners to fit in there.
That is it. One swanky super built. Now I am lucky that the, the person I bought the business off, he already painted these supers for me. So we don't have to paint these supers. So we just gotta build the frames. These are manly frames. These are my favourite frames. They're really good for cut comb as well. Get nice big fat chunky cut combs when the bees draw these frames out. And I suppose the reason I like manly frames is the, the gentleman or the guy that, that uh, taught me beekeeping, Dorian Harris, he was my mentor right at the start. He loves manly frames as well, so I think that has rubbed off on me. So a little trick by me, because this is wireless, when we put the nail in this bar, you don't hook the, the wire, so this sheet can fall out in the heat. Here's a little trick to stop that happening. So I get you bought another bottom bar, put that in. Two of them together now. Pinch that tight with your hand. Nail gun in from the side. Look at that. Now that is pinched in tight. That can't fall out. Doesn't matter how hot it gets. And basically, that's how my evenings I'm gonna go every night for the next at least two weeks, maybe three. Because even though I feel like I haven't had a very productive day today, I felt like I've been on the road a lot, I felt like I've just been trying to put fires out, then there's another fire starting behind me, that's, that's how I feel. But basically, for every 25 supers I put out, that's potentially an extra 250 kilos of honey for my business. And, uh, you know, that's a decent amount of honey, 25 supers at a time. So if I can do that, even if I do that every two days, get 25 boxes out. This week I am building frames and my dad is building frames. So there's uh, no reason why we can't get another 100 supers out this week. Or next week is Friday today. And that will put us in a much better situation than to really catch that honey. Because 100 supers is basically a ton of honey. Ooh, feel that stress and anxiety of knowing what needs to be done and you don't know if you're going to be able to do it but we're going to try our best nonetheless the season is turning out to be an excellent year every box I've got is out in the bees and if every box gets filled I mean I've got nothing to complain about but like every beekeeper, you just start thinking how good it could have been if I had been more organised or I had these supers ready to go. Are you in the same situation? Let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload a video a week. Thanks for watching.